Good evening. Two men are fighting for life tonight. Two are dead after an explosion at Morley's Galleria shopping centre. The four men were working on power equipment at the complex when it exploded. Shoppers tried to save them when they fled the plant room covered in flames. Here's what we know so far. One of the men killed in the accident was just 22 years old, the other 30. Tonight, two of their workmates are listed as critical. The four men were working on transformers damaged by a lightning strike. A powerful explosion with a deadly outcome. Chaotic scenes at Morley Galleria this morning as a blast ripped through the plant room, creating a wall of fire. I was in the doctor's surgery and we just heard a bang and this lady come running in screaming there'd be an explosion. And I saw three guys run out of the door and they were just burning. They were just screaming and burning and all his clothes were on fire and then he collapsed over there. A 30-year-old man was killed. Three others were rushed to hospital, one with burns to 80% of his body. He died late this afternoon. His family and friends told the heartbreaking news as they arrived at Royal Perth Hospital. Matt Hutchins was a high-voltage technician. He was 22 years old. The centre had opened its doors to shoppers just an hour before the explosion. Some say they could feel it streets away. Those much closer ran to help the victims. I thought a car had exploded, I really did. Petrol, you know what I mean? But it was a lot worse than that. It was the worst sight I've ever seen in my entire life. All I could see was fire coming up from their backs. They were laid on the front. Many threw wet clothing and blankets over the four men. They were on fire, of course. They were screaming, look, you know. Of course they were screaming. They were on fire, like, the, the lights on the ground. John McDonough was one of the first to douse them with water. I got the bag and start filling the rope of water from a hydrant over there and uh, just start putting them out. Tegan Chick was in the car park when she heard their screams. She gave the men first aid. There were people who'd covered the victims in their clothes and were keeping them wet and kept the water flowing and there was a few of us who were helping direct traffic out of the way and keep the way clear for the emergency services. I have first aid training so I kind of, I guess, kicked into gear and did what I knew needed to be done. As paramedics raced the critically injured to Royal Perth Hospital, six others were treated at the scene for breathing problems. Power was cut off to part of the shopping centre for authorities trying to get inside the plant room located behind Woolworths. It was a difficult and dangerous task. We can't actually get into the scene because it's a, it's a hot area. It's, we haven't actually rendered the area safe. Firefighters say as they entered, they were confronted by thick, toxic smoke and soot. The blaze was extinguished within minutes. The four men were repairing damage caused by last night's storms inside the plant room, which includes a transformer and the centre's air conditioning unit. They were contractors employed by High Energy Services, a company that specialises in servicing high voltage equipment. In a statement, it says its thoughts and prayers are with the families and friends of the victims. There were reports that lightning ignited the explosion, but authorities have ruled that out. The arson squad, forensics, worksafe and energy safety have been meticulously scouring that one blackened room, trying to work out what caused this tragic and deadly blast. Tracy Vaux, Nine News.